Yo, what's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez here with another video and today I'm actually going to be picking one of you guys' store to do a full review slash audit on. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM. 5.65k for the day and again you can see right here it's only 326 all the only reason why i wanted to show you guys that is simply just for you know the, for that transparency to let you guys know that again i'm doing these videos and the reason why i'm able to give you guys some feedback and do things like do a store review is because obviously you know i'm implementing the things that i'm showing you guys to do and all the strategies that i'm recommending for you guys to try on your stores if you guys want to participate in the next store review slash audit all you have to do is leave me a comment below make sure you're subscribed to my channel make sure you have post notifications on so that way every time i drop a new video you know you guys get notified what i wanted to do is just kind of scroll down here and just pick one of you guys live actually um it looks like the first store we have is rosecoffee.store the next store is swellhomegoods.store the next one's vibeslucre.com the next one's driptacular.com and uh, this other one is hiddenluxuryshop.com. So I'm going to simply take the URL, put it into the YouTube comment picker, and it's going to automatically generate and choose some of these comments. So it's picking a random winner now. And it looks like the winner's Safwani Malkdar. I am not good with names, so sorry if I mispronounce your name, but his name, the name of his store is vibeslucre.com. So what I wanted to kind of get started with is first thing, right? First thing when I see the when I see that name, I'm gonna just open up a new, new tab. But before I even get to the store, so first thing off that name, vibeslucre.com. I don't know exactly what kind of store it is, but I am gonna go with you know somewhat of a general store just because it has vibes, um, lucre. I don't really know too much about it, but vibes, which there's nothing wrong with because again, uh, it, it does sound like a general name. I'm assuming that if you have a general name, I'm going to be coming into, you know, somewhat of a general store. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll go right into the store right here. Let it load up. And, you know, first thing off the bat, I want to say that your store does look pretty clean and put together so far. You know, you have a nice picture in the background, you know, so it's already making me you know, obviously, when the first thing people look at when they first land on your store, a lot of people do check out actually your homepage. So you want to make sure, of course, your homepage is organized. And of course, so far it looks like it is based on the picture you have so far. Uh, it says right here we sent more than 3,000 packages this year. Become our happy customer today. Um, I actually love that as well because what that's doing is already, you know, when I'm coming into the store as a customer, it's already hitting that social bias, which is called social tendency or social proof. So I know that you guys already have over 3,000 happy customers or you've delivered or worked with or 3,000 customers. So again, that makes me a lot more comfortable, you know, feeling that I can come into your store and actually make a purchase because you've already serviced 3,000 other people, okay? So off the back, that's awesome. I actually love that. And now when I'm scrolling down, I'm seeing is there's kind of different things going on, right? So I have sweaters here, specifically dog sweaters, and I have leggings, now I have chains. It looks like I have gadgets and accessories, women's fashion, home and garden. Best seller, looks like it's coffee and this mug. For some of you guys that are just getting started, start with the general store, start testing products, and then from there, after you find some winners, you transition onto having a more niche store and building around the net niche, right? It looks like it's staying around kind of like a, woman, a general store, but also mainly kind of for women, right? And the reason why I say that is because simply, the first two things I see is a women's dog hoodie and women's leggings, and a basketball chain. If you're gonna show a dog paw hoodie and some leggings, also show some men's, you know, hoodies and some men's maybe some, you know, fitness gear, right? You want to keep a congruent feel throughout your whole store because what happens is if I come in here and I start seeing that women's, you know, sweaters, women's leggings, I'm gonna automatically assume it's a women's store, right? And then I come down here and I see that you have gadgets and accessories, women's fashion, home and garden, you know, and then your best sellers are coffee, um, espresso makers, and then coffee mugs. It kind of throws things off a little bit, right? So if you're gonna have a general store, make sure that it has a general feel to it overall. When you land and see these products specifically, you automatically, you know, people are assuming it's a women's store. Now, if you switch, uh, to the collections being seen first, you know, now people are seeing that when they come in, they're seeing that you have gadgets and accessories, you have women's fashions, home garden, and then again, I would add in, if you're going to make it a general store, I would add in, you know, same thing, men's fashion, you know, have both kind of customers coming into your store, not just one, because right now, based on what I see, it looks like it's a, 
a general store, but also like kind of to it's kind of pointing towards a women's store. So you want to keep it congruent. You don't want to confuse anyone. You want to make it very simple for someone to come in and know what kind of website they're looking at, what kind of store they're coming in to buy from. So that's so far for the home page. Now let's go on the product pages. Obviously, you guys know the product pages are super important because usually your customers will land on from your ad straight to the product page and they don't always go to your home page, but a good portion of them do. But definitely the product pages, you guys have to make sure you know what you're doing and you have it set up correctly. So when we start off with this one, let's see if we go to the first product page here. So it looks like I have this dog paw hoodie. It's good. I have my color options. I have my sizes, quantity. I have, I can see my different colors, which is great. Um, I have, this is great right here. It has a guaranteed safe checkout. This is awesome. Save $30 now. Free shipping for the next 40 hours only. Hurry up. You want to give the customer an actual reason as to why they should make the purchase now, not just say hurry up. So one of the ways you can do that is to make sure you have both scarcity and urgency going on in your website. And simply, you know, what you can do for scarcity is say like, hey, we only have 17 of these products left. And what you can do for urgency is use a tactic that you have here, like you're incentivizing them to actually take action and get your product within the next 48 hours. But what you can also do is, you know, say, hey, you can actually get this hoodie, but it's only gonna be for the next seven minutes and you have 40 seconds, 47 seconds left to actually get the hoodie. If not, it's either, I'm either gonna run out or the offer's gonna expire. But you wanna make sure you have both. You need to have scarcity and urgency in your product page. So when it comes up to the product description, now this looks like a pretty basic product description. It looks like this, you kinda just wrote it out really quickly. And then the rest of it, uh, it kinda was copy and pasted from AliExpress. Now, while I'm doing these store reviews, I want to make sure that you guys aren't getting offended in any way by some of the things I say. I'm just being completely honest with you guys. And it's much better to get, you know, feedback right now in your store than having to drive traffic and waste a ton of money on advertising and then not see any results. So I want to make sure that obviously nobody's catching any feelings from some of the things I say. I'm just being as transparent as possible. And I'm only doing this obviously because I want to see you guys get the results that you're looking for within e-commerce and drop shipping. Uh, it says due to extremely high demand on this product, please allow up to 12 to 15 days for shipping. That's awesome. We would, when I first got started in e-commerce and drop shipping, I would either say this exact same line right here, or I would let them know like, hey, two to three weeks for shipping, or you can let them know because of the high demand, uh, it's gonna take anywhere from 12 to 25 days for shipping. And if you guys haven't, make sure you watch one of my videos where you can find some products that ship a lot faster than the regular AliExpress products. You can get some products within a week. So make sure you check my one of my previous videos on how you know we're utilizing faster shipping times from AliExpress. You know, everything so far, everything else looks pretty good. You're using good pictures, you know, you're using solid pictures, it's a good product. Now, the, what I would make sure you change is right here, your product description. What you wanna do is give it into more detail, like say, hey, you know, we got a new limited edition sweater for our most, you know, adventurous dog lovers, right? Don't quote me on the words, because again, I do take some time to kind of come up with it, but that's just what I'm thinking. You know, add in some more style into the text. Don't make it super boring. Like, give them a re give them something to read that's going to make them want the sweater. Letting them know, like, hey, this is one of our most sold dog lover sweater. So make sure if you love your dogs, you know, this is good right here what you have. Show your love to dogs. Be proud of it and share it with people by wearing the most comfortable hoodie. Get it now and save some money. Because if you attach a purpose to this product and a value to it where, you know, people that are buying this product and they're going to wear it and use this product, they know that it's it's standing behind an actual purpose. It's a lot more likely that they buy the product. And obviously that it's a lot more likely that not only they buy it, but then tell other people about the product and, you know, why, the reason why they got the sweater and, you know, potentially refer customers to your store to actually get the same product. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys and pretty much spend all day on it. But so far, those are some simple changes you can make. Now going to the homepage, there was one more thing I wanted to recommend. So when I get on this website and I see that some of your pictures are with people wearing the products and then I see this picture of just the product, there's somewhat kind of incongruency, right? There's a little bit of incongruency. So what you wanna do is, if you're gonna have pictures of people wearing your products, look for more pictures of people wearing the rest of your products that you're gonna have as well. So what I would do is if you're gonna have this basketball chain, I would make sure I find other pictures of people wearing the chain so that it makes sense to have it on there just like with these pictures, right? Because again, if you look at it, it looks like something is off. And same thing happens here, right? So if you're gonna have a product like this one, the Espresso Maker, where it's gonna have nothing but a white background, but then you're gonna have this 
guitar, uh, coffee guitar mug and there's gonna have be somewhat of a background into it make sure that you know the pictures if you get you, you choose either one you either choose no background just a white image or you actually have a background with a nice image right and you want to make sure that you have enough products where if people click on your collections it's at least enough to you know fill up it so that people have more than one option per collection so if i go to this i only have two options if i go to this collection i only have two options if I go to this one, I only have one option. So at least give them two to three options per collection so that it doesn't seem like you know, there's only one product there in the whole collection. You wanna make it, again, you wanna, you wanna think about when people are coming to a website, what's gonna make them feel more comfortable buying? Going into you know your home and garden section only seeing one product or going in there and seeing multiple options, right? It's the little things that matter, like believe it or not, these little things do cause um, psychologically some incongruencies in our brains and it makes us not you know hesitate on making a decision so you want to make sure these small things are actually you know corrected into your store that way you're not wasting a ton of money on traffic and not making any sales like a lot of people are doing right now just checking out this collection right here again see there's a little bit of incongruence you can see that when you get on this this part of the of the website how there's something off right you have this huge image right here for this product then you have this one looks all small and then this one has like multiple images and then these ones have white backgrounds and white backgrounds. You wanna make sure everything is congruent throughout the whole store, right? If you're gonna have white backgrounds, so make it so that this coffee mug also has a white background, right? Everything has to line up again. So, so far, that's the feedback that I have. Uh, probably the last thing I'll look at is a Y section. We're all about good feels and vibes. That's all we offer, World Life Training Products. So this is all good. What I would say is also, when I was mentioning earlier about people you know, buying into products because they see the meaning and kind of like they, they want to stand behind what the product represents. Same thing with your store, right? You want to make sure you have somewhat of a why message written in your store saying like what the store and websites like stands behind, the mission that they have for, you know, creating the store. If you're going to have this vibes locker store, right? You know, maybe you can say, you know, we look to sell the most uh, the most trending products that give you the best kind of vibes. I don't know, something around that area. Don't quote me on that. I'm not the best at coming up with these on the spot. But have a why message because people love standing behind websites and you know um, pr products that have specific whys. But if you have nothing there, it's going to look like just pretty much like every other website. So you want to make sure you have at least you know somewhat of a short message written in here in your why section. If you look at any of the top stores, Apple Store, Amazon. You know, Fashion Nova, one of the biggest women's clothing stores, they all have something written for their why of their store and why why they made their website to sell these products. So make sure you take the second to, you know, kind of create the why for your store. Um, nothing crazy, it can be just a few sentences long. But besides that, everything is looking good. So I hope, you know, obviously you got value from the feedback I left you. Also, this contact us tab is awesome. It makes it really easy for people to contact you. That is also great. Um, you want to make it so that people have, you know, if they have any questions, it's very easy for them to contact you. You don't want to make it difficult for people to reach out and ask any questions that they have about your products or if they have any doubt in their heads, you know, for them to ask. You want to make it very easy for them to communicate with you guys. Hope you guys got value from this video. Again, if you want to participate in the next store giveaway, make sure that you're leaving, you're commenting on my videos, you're subscribed to my channels, and also that you're turning on your post bell notifications. That way you get you know, obviously uh, alerts every time I drop a new video and I'll be picking another random winner, maybe on this video or the next. Make sure that if you guys wanna participate that you do all those and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.